I speak as a member of a group of 30 young people that the British Council brought together in Slovenia a couple of weeks ago to discuss exactly this question. I also speak as a British citizen and as a member of the generation which will have to deal with the potentially catastrophic effects of climate change. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called 2009 the year of climate change and hence my message to politicians would be that we need an ambitious global deal sealed at Copenhagen. Specifically I've got four messages for politicians. The first is that we need binding emissions reduction targets that will keep us below a two degree rise in temperature. Currently the most ambitious deal on the table for Copenhagen will only give us a 50% chance of staying below a two degree temperature rise and that's just not good enough. What we need are both short term targets to ensure that our emissions have peaked and begun to decline in the next five to ten years and long term targets to set us on the path to almost total decarbonisation within 40 years. Secondly, we need an alternative to GDP as the key measure of success for our countries. GDP measures consumption, and unless we address this, we'll always be addressing the branches rather than the roots of the problem. We need a measure which incorporates things that matter to us, things like quality of life and environmental sustainability. Thirdly, we need a, f a fair deal for developing countries at Copenhagen. We need to help developing countries mitigate against climate change and provide substantial additional financial support to the Adaptation Fund to help them adapt to the inevitable consequences of climate change. Finally, we need to ensure that any agreement made at Copenhagen is ratified immediately within each of the countries um, that have made the agreement and that a dedicated climate change ministry is established in each country in order to ensure accountability against these targets.